Hi guys, Captain Nick Pavlakis here with Marine Max in St. Petersburg. Today we're out in Boca Ciega Bay on an Aquila 54 power catamaran. And we are gonna be going over anchoring with a windlass and a bridle on a power cat. A couple different tricks that you can use to really get a good set in whatever bottom that you're anchoring up in and um, make sure that the boat doesn't go anywhere. So right here, we're gonna be going over our ground tackle. Um, you notice that there's a pulpit right here, and then of course there's no anchor on that. The anchor's gonna come through your through-haul windlass. What's that for? A lot of these boats, especially in the BVIs or down in the Caribbean, are gonna be tying up to mooring balls. So that's when you just grab your mooring ball, put it right there, easy, you're done. Um, however, no mooring balls out here, we're gonna be anchoring up ourselves. So let's see what we're working with. You got two hatches. Of course, right there you have access to your anchor. You're gonna have your controls. Always nice option right here, a little fresh water wash down. If you drag up any mud or something. Then back here is gonna be your actual windlass. So after you make sure that everything is clear up there, nothing's gonna get caught, we're gonna open this up. Have access to our actual windlass. Of course, this is a quick system. Got the horizontal wildcat right there. Definitely want to keep your hands away from any moving parts. That is sharp in there. Could do some damage. Right here, this is our little flip. I've got that flipped over. That's the lock in case for whatever reason that your windlass gave out. You want to have an anchor flying off the bow. And right now it's latched so it can't come back up. Now we're all ready. No boats around us. Captain Keith gives me the thumbs up and I'm going to let this out. As you've seen before, we're going to guesstimate in calm water, they say three feet to every foot of depth. I like to do five just to be safe. Of course, if it's rough, you're gonna do seven. So right now I checked the depth. We're in about 10 feet of water. So I'm gonna guesstimate 30 feet and see where we go from there. And now Keith is gonna put it in reverse ever so gently. Get a good set. And you'll see the anchor start to scope out. That's about 30 feet, so we're gonna see where we set now. Gonna flip this on back for safety. Now you can see it looks like we're nice and straight, but now this is where on a catamaran, it's a little bit different because we're working with a bridle system. So I get the question a lot. Hey, do I really need a bridle? Um, sometimes the answer is no. Okay, you're, the anchor's still gonna hold. We probably wouldn't go anywhere right now. However, you're gonna get a much better set on that anchor and think about it this way. When you're on a power cat, the bow's up here, anchor's down here. We've talked about before, the angle of which your anchor road is, is what's gonna have you set in the bottom a lot better. So if you're more like this, you have more chance of pulling that anchor out of the mud, sand, whatever it is. If you're like this, you're just gonna set nice and good. And that's what the bridle's gonna do. You're gonna have a point down there where that's where all that pressure is coming from. So watch this. Got a bridle up in here. It's got a little safety string on there too, so you can pull it back up. We'll make sure that it's not caught up in that freshwater wash down. So sometimes you can hook it back there. I actually like to hook it up front here. I think that it's a little easier. Then you're just gonna hang that in there. And now you notice that it's still tight up here. So we're gonna let it out a little bit further now until it's tight on the actual bridle, so. So what we have here, we got our bridle set up, our hook is on the chain, and you're gonna notice the bridle is tight. You have this line coming off of each one of the hauls here to that center point. 
Now the chain behind that hook is not tight. All that pressure is on that bridle. So just like on a monohull boot where you're gonna have all of your pressure coming off the bow, on the cat, we're doing it with the same thing right now. And all of that pressure is down there instead of up here on the bow. So we're all set. A lot of people like to set some sort of GPS anchor or an alarm on your um, MFD up there that, hey, if you do drift more than 30 feet, 20 feet, whatever you want to set it at, it'll start beeping at you and say, hey, um, you're moving. So you might want to set out some more line. You might want to just be careful what's going on around you. And um, then you enjoy yourself and stand by and we're going to show you how to haul this thing up. So now what we're going to do, we are going to haul this anchor up. First, I'm going to get this bridle inside. Hook it up right there. Now we're just on the anchor again. I'm gonna give Keith the thumbs up and he's gonna drive up on that anchor a little bit as I pull it up. So now we're tight on it. Now you notice down there that we've got quite a bit of mud on this anchor, so I'll let it hang in the water a little bit. Get that mud off there. Now we're gonna bring this up on in here, and you wanna watch that anchor a little bit. Most of the time it is gonna right itself, but you wanna make sure that it sits in there with the plow facing down. So here as we bring it tight, we'll put this back up. Give everything a good wash. And we're back booting. So a windlass could be a good tool. It'll save your back. And who knows, it could save your marriage too, because it sure does make anchoring up a lot easier, especially on these big boats. That's just one of our boating tips. We've got a lot more coming. If you want to check these out, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, marinemax.com. See you guys on the water.